Hey you internetters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and so for today we'll be learning how to do the demon sonic. I want to take a quick moment to thank Macho PS for letting me know that a pin trick like this exists on top of a pin trick with an interesting name. And I, w I wonder why they call it that. And so before we get too into the video, I kind of want to let you know that there are some prerequisites that you got to know before learning the demon sonic. Kinda, kinda. You'll need to know how to do the Sonic in finger slot 3, 4 and also do the pass reverse in 2, 3, 2, 1, 2. And so once you're able to do the Sonic and the finger pass in those required finger slot, you should be able to do the Demon Sonic just by linking those two pin tricks together. I'm sure you're wondering like how do you link these two pin tricks together? I got you. And so basically when you're doing the Sonic in finger slot 3 and 4, it'll end up like this unless you complete the Sonic. But for the Demon Sonic, right when you're doing the Sonic and right before the pin comes down here, so basically right at the middle point, you'll basically want to do a reverse finger pass into finger slot 1 and 2. So the trick of the Sonic isn't completed. You actually start doing the pass right when the pin gets about right here and so yeah that's all there is to doing the demon sonic and here's a quick video of pin spinning central doing the demon sonic and so if you're trying to discover or learn more pin tricks or see what other pin tricks are available in the pin spinning world i'll leave a link down to pin spinning central channel in the description below so that you can go and check it out since he sort of have a lot of libraries if you will of like pin tricks and also earlier like as I was googling why like it's called the Demon Sonic, I stumbled upon Pin Spinning Central like website I guess you could say and he has a lot of information on the Demon Sonic. Like for example, you get to see that the Devil, I mean the Demon Sonic and Devil Sonics are hybrids and hybrids in Pin Spinning terminology I guess is a sequence of tricks in which subsequent starts before the previous one was fully completed and also we get to get the answer to the question why is it named the demon sonic and that's because the demon and devil in the names has something to do with the way we show our middle finger when doing the trick and i'm pretty sure he was referring to people doing this with their middle finger and anyways let's just get into learning this pin trick so starting off i want to point out that i'm not angry like just the look on my face it's just how i look like when i'm focusing really hard when i'm trying to learn something and so starting off with the Demon Sonic, it was quite difficult for me when I'm trying to learn the trick because my fingers and finger slot 3, 4 is used to doing the Sonic and completing it so I could prepare for a Sonic Rise. And at the same time, I'm straining these two fingers a lot so that I can try to control the pin to where once it gets to the midpoint, I do the pass instead of having it complete all the way around, which I find was really, really difficult for the finger slot 3, 4. And so I want to show you a different perspective on what was going on while I was practicing the Demon Sonic. And so what I've learned is in finger slot 3 and 4, when I'm doing the Sonic, it wants to keep coming into a complete stop here. And that's just because I built a really strong muscle memory uh, when I'm doing the Sonic in, three, uh, in finger slot 3 and 4. So it could prepare to do another Sonic because I learned how to do the Sonic Rise recently. And I spent a lot of time trying to practice that. And if you haven't checked out that video yet, I'll put it up, uh, up here somewhere for you to click. And so, yeah, that's one of the bad things, right? And so what I was doing in that section was it would come to a complete stop here after I did the Sonic and I would do a finger pass, which isn't correct, right? But it was close and better than nothing. One of the things I end up trying to do is basically when I'm doing the Sonic, I would stop it right here. And then like you can see my finger is shaking, right? And that's just because my ring finger, and my pinky finger is just naturally weak. So... I would then just do a finger pass like that and I did it really slow right I, I wasn't doing a sonic like at that speed but I was just like doing it like really slow like this and then I would like slowly bring it over to do the finger pass and that's what I was trying to do and so after I practiced this for a little bit I accidentally got my first demon sonic down and it was a pretty decent one in my opinion and so doing this tactic, it kind of helped a little bit and I'm pretty sure that if I kept going and practicing and doing this method, I'm sure I'll eventually learn the Demon Sonic or at least break the habit of doing the Sonic Rise with my 3 and 4 finger slot. And so I went back to continue practicing the Demon Sonic and I could never do another 
Demon Sonic that was as smooth as that one that did that was a co total complete accident. And so over time as I continued to practice I got used to it and I slowly increased the speed at how I'm doing the Demon Sonic and the transition between the uh, Sonic into the past was getting a little bit smoother and smoother and as this smoothness continued to happen I continued to increase the speed and eventually I would say that I'm able to decently do the Demon Sonic at this point but it was just needed some small and minor tweaks so that just means I just need to practice a little bit more and I should be able to get it down. And so I spent roughly about 20 minutes before I'm able to do the Demon Sonic and for this trick I didn't drop the pin quite often. I didn't I barely dropped the pin actually so I didn't worry too much about counting which is good. That's pretty much all we have for today and if you enjoyed the video please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and like always thanks for watching and until next time.